Um, but then in her senior year, she came home and she was very excited about a boy who asked her to go to senior prom. And I remember asking her like, well, who, who is this boy? And she was Jake Bacon. <laughs> and I was like, all right, Jake Bacon. So we, we, we went out, well, I didn't go, Kim went out and got her a dress and all this stuff. And we finally met Jake and he was the most respectful and polite individual I ever met. And I, I couldn't be more proud, I was happy. And I was like, well, this is, this is working out well for us, you know. Who would have known eight years, eight years later they're going to get married? So today, on your wedding day, man, you're just you have made me so proud. Jake is your perfect match. You know, you, you married your, 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 the man you wanted to marry. You know, with your kind heart, your intelligence, your sense of humor, You've always made me proud. And, and, I, and I think about that, and I think of all the Jake's qualities that TJ started talking about a little while ago. It was, it, it, you guys are made for each other, so I'm happy. Jake, welcome to the family. Thank you very much. Counting every second till the sun goes down. Heartbeats buzzing to the neon sound. Whoa. So free, be anywhere but you're here with me. Let's go. Oh, we're always dreaming. Technical love, like dancing in the deep end. Let's just soak it up. Come on, come on, dive in. Let go. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. Our soulmate is the one who makes life come to life. Marriage is the incubator of love, the protected environment in which a love that is personal and touching and real that can grow. As a consequence of that growth develop in us, our highest capabilities as loving human beings. We are still and always growing, and when we marry, we promise not only our own growth, but also our willingness to witness and withstand the ongoing growth of another human being. We have been witnesses to this special day. Therefore, I and those of us here, which have recognized that Sarah and Jake have become husband and wife, we and all of your family and friends shall honor and celebrate your love for one another. So now, therefore, by virtue of these promises made by each of you, by the authority vested in me by the above Almighty and under the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you as your hearts have always known to be, husband and wife, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Thanks for loving who I love and hating the people I complain about. <laughs> Thanks for coming to, for driving two hours to see me every time you come to see me and for letting me stay at your house when I come to see you. 
Thanks for picking up our friendship seamlessly like no time has passed between now and the last time we saw each other. Thanks for being my best friend. <laughs> and Jake, thanks for loving my best friend the way she deserves to be loved. I couldn't have asked for someone better suited for Sarah. You're kind, patient, and always there for her every step of the way. I love you both, and I couldn't be more happy for you guys. So if we could all raise a glass to Sarah and Jake, the happy couple. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> um, the person that he can lean on, it's, it's unreal, and it's vice versa, because you have a strength and a resilience that truly floods out and just goes to everyone that you meet. And um, that includes Victoria and I, who we're lucky enough to call you a friend our entire relationship, so thank you for that. Um, so there's absolutely no one else who I would have hoped for Jake to end up with. And Jake, Sarah is your person. Like, that's just the bottom line. Um, and, and with that, I would ask that we all raise a glass to Sarah and Jake. May you lean on each other whenever needed, laugh as much as you possibly can, and love each other every second of the way. To Sarah and Jake. <laughs> So oh.